All right, so we've done qualifying. Let's go on to demoing, the fun part, right? Again, this is about being efficient. This is about taking the people who are the most likely to become your prospects, getting them to gain, get, uh, getting them to trust you as quickly as possible, showing them just the information they need, uh, doing it in a way that's engaging and memorable, and then moving on to the next person. So the goal here, I think, is to answer the one question, the one overarching question that they care about during a demo which is stands for W-I-I-F-M. Now I want you guys to imagine that everybody you talk to has a radio station in their head. And that radio station is, uh, that has a radio in their head rather. And that radio, radio has a radio station and it's always the same. It's always tuned to that same station. And the call letters are W-I-I-F-M. What does that stand for? What's in it for me? That's it. That's all they care about. One prospect you talk to will care about feature number 23. The next will care about feature number 27. The next will care about feature number 6. The next one will care about features number 21, 28, and 42. You have to determine what's in it for them. And then speak to that. And pick out that aspect of the product because that's what they care about. Everything you talk about has to be framed in terms of why it matters to them. Not why the product's great, not why it's cool, not why it won an award, but why that matters to them, that particular person. All right, so let's talk about how to do a directed discussion. I call it a directed discussion because first of all, you're the director. You're the one choosing where it goes and what you cover and what you don't cover. And second, because it should be a discussion, not a monologue, right? You wanna, you wanna be listening and asking as much as you're talking, at least. So first, be quick. And the way you do that, again, is by giving an introduction to the product, and I, I pestered Julia to no end on the phone last week with these basic questions. What is this product about, right? Then ask some questions. You know, what do you need it to do? What are you looking for? What's your challenge? Do you need it to do this? Do you need it to do that? Uh, answering all those questions during your demo, then doing a little bit of follow-up, and finding out, was this helpful for you? Did I answer your questions? Where do you think you stand right now? And we'll talk a little bit more th about that in a second. And then dismissing them and saying, great talking to you, I gotta move on to the next person. Getting their contact info and letting them go. Be clear. I cannot overemphasize this point. A lot of people have the mindset, especially in the high tech world, that the more big words you use, the smarter you sound, and therefore, the more you will sell. It isn't true. <laughs> and I bet you know that already. Speak in plain English. If you use a term that you're concerned they might not understand, ask them, are you familiar with that term? Would you like me to explain it to you? I bet you more often than not, somebody will need an explanation. Every time I say this, especially in the high tech world, somebody says, oh, well, this is an industry show. And everybody who's here knows all the terminology. Do you think that's really true? I will tell you, I've done over 3,000 presentations at trade shows. I have never, ever had an attendee come up to me after a presentation and say that wasn't complex enough. <laughs> I have had attendees come up to me quite often and say thank you. I have been in this industry for five years and I never knew what that term meant until you took three seconds to define it in your presentation. Thank you. You did me a favor. Don't assume anything. If you're not sure that they know it, ask, define, make sure that you're being clear. If you start using fancy techno speak, Chances are, you're just gonna see a nodding head, but you've lost them. So, also don't use pronouns. I have a pet peeve about people, you know, when they do demos and they say, so basically, you know, this thing leads there and then that thing does this with this thing. <laughs> what the hell is that? Walk them through, not so that you understand it, but so that they understand it based on their level of knowledge about the industry and the product. Be relevant. Again, everything has to relate back to the consumer needs. You, know, you should not say a single thing without knowing exactly how you're tying it back to that person and what they need and why it's valuable to them. Be benefit focused. If you want to talk about a feature, that's great, but the feature has to have a reason to be there. So if you talk about, for example, uh, the feature is that you can throw, um, let's say that you can throw a stack of forms in here at the same time. You don't just say, this is a 50 sheet feeder, you could put 50 sheets in here at the same time. You say you could put 50 sheets in here at the same time and that's great because it saves you time and makes the entire process more efficient for you, which saves you money, right? The feature is the sheet feeder, the benefit is saving time and money. So try to stay focused on those bottom line benefits. Be engaging, tell them success stories. 
You know, uh, your company, your situation reminds me of another company we worked with uh, three months ago. They installed this product. They've seen a 25% decrease in cost. They're really happy with it. They're buying 10 more. Um, give them a little inside scoop. You know, I was one of the people who actually helped develop this product. And before we launched it, we stayed up till four in the morning. We ordered pizza. We asked for pepperoni, but we got cheese, but we ate it anyway. It doesn't matter what you tell them. <laughs> Make them feel special. Make, tell them something that they could not get off your website or by reading a brochure or reading about you in the press. Make them feel like you're giving them a little inside story, okay? Tell them cautionary tales. If they say, oh yeah, we don't want that product, it's okay if you say, you know, there was another company we worked with that felt the same way. They went in that direction and what they found was in the long run, it really increased their costs and then eventually they came back to us and bought this. Very good argument. You guys still with me, by the way? I'm flying yeah. through this because we're, we're short on time, but hope you're getting this. Stay connected. Keep checking in. Are you familiar with this word? Are you familiar with this term? Are you familiar with this facet of the industry? Would this help you? This feature I've just shown you, would it help you? Should I rephrase that so you understand it? Keep checking in with them. Let them know you care about the fact that they understand your demo. You're not just talking for the sake of talking. Stay positive. Nothing an attendee says is ever wrong, so don't contradict that. It's okay if you say, you know, I understand that perspective, or I understand how you could feel that way, or I can see what, how you'd feel that way coming from where you are, well, you know, whatever. But don't scoff at them, don't laugh at them, don't say they're wrong. Nobody's wrong, that's their experience. Don't dismiss them and say, oh, that's stupid, I can't believe you said that. Don't denigrate anybody else on the show floor. Every company here makes a great product, it's just that yours is better. Right? And don't confide. Don't tell anybody anything on this show floor that you would not want on the front page of the show daily tomorrow. You never know who you're talking to. You never know who's standing right behind you with a tape recorder. You never know who the person you're talking to will talk to that night. All right, so keep it safe. And be honest. If you don't know, you don't know. That's cool. Say, you know what, that's a great question. I'm not sure. I'd love to find out for you and answer that question, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. What's the best way to contact you? Oh, great. Now you have an excuse to contact them after the show. Get their business card. Right, Joe? That's my boy.